guys, I'm Tash. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make harissa roast cauliflower um, on some nice fresh feta breads with a tahini dressing, a little za'atar dressing and some pickled red onions. That might sound like a lot but I promise you it's really easy. The thing we're going to make are the pickled red onions. So we've got onions here. All I've done is like finely slice them. And then I've just boiled the kettle and poured a kettle of water over them in a sieve. So just 100ml of any vinegar that you have. One tablespoon of caster sugar. Three black peppercorns. A bay leaf. And then I'm going to put in just a teaspoon or human seed. Give it a little stir. Just gonna put the thinly sliced onions into a little jar. And I'm just gonna take your pickling liquid and pour it in. And that's it. That is your pickled onion. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is make our pita breads. So in this bowl, I have got 450 grams of strong white bread flour. 12 grams of instant yeast, add them to one half. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of sea salt, fine sea salt. Water going in. And now we're just going to get your hands in, bring it into a dough and then knead it until it's really smooth and elastic. If you just get your hand in to begin with, and if have your claws like this, claws your fingers even. And also if you kind of squish your hands together, that will help distribute all the water and get, make sure all the flour is in. So once you've managed to find a kind of shaggy dough, you're going to tip it um, out onto your work surface and now you're going to start um, kneading it. So using the heel of your hand, see the dough is now looking very different, much smoother. So what you're gonna do now is just grease um, a large bowl and then we're going to stick the dough into that bowl and we'll leave it it'll be a, probably hopefully about an hour um so just dump it in there cover it with a tea towel and that's done so now we're on to preparing our cauliflower so if you grab yourself a large mixing bowl and then we're just going to add three tablespoons of harissa this is rose harissa and then with some um extra virgin olive oil, just same again, so another three tablespoons, one. And just add some seasoning. Just a good pinch of salt. And a bit of pepper. And this is gonna be the mayonnaise for your cauliflower. About now, if you turn on your oven to 200 degrees um, conventional, and line just a large baking sheet with parchment. And then we're simply going to cut um, the cauliflower into six pieces. So just stick your cauliflower in and then roll it around so it's coated on all sides. Cover them all really like massage the harissa paste into them so you get into all the nooks and crannies and then lay them onto your prepared baking sheet and then stick it into the oven at two. So cauliflower's in the oven, our pita bread dough is rising, so we can make um, the tahini dressing first. So to your list bowl, we're just gonna add three tablespoons of tahini. Make sure you find a tahini that actually tastes nice because some are very bitter and it will result in a very disgusting tasting dressing. And we're going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice. So one tablespoon of water. We're going to grate in um, half a garlic clove. This one's huge, so maybe just one normal size garlic in my tiny grater. And then we're just gonna add one teaspoon of date syrup. You can use maple syrup, honey. Um, yeah, those are probably the best alternatives. Just gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. This is the texture. Um, well, consistency that you want. I added two more tablespoons of water. So I'm going to make the second dressing as a tar dressing. If you just um, put a tablespoon of your zatar into a bowl or a little jar, and then we're going to add three 
tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And then we're just going to add a teaspoon of lemon juice. Turn it on, give it a shake. And there we go. So both our dressings made on the cauliflower still in the oven. It's got about 10 minutes ish to go. Make sure you're checking it halfway through cooking. So now we're gonna go back to our pitta breads. Now doubled in size, and if you poke it, it should feel very light. What we do now is we're going to tip this out onto a clean work surface and you're just gonna stick your fingers in it's a very satisfying part till all the air bubbles have come out just going to now roll this up into a sausage shape and then we're just going to cut this into about eight or ten kind of slices. I did it into eight, so they'll be a bit larger, but you can do it into ten if you want. And then what we're going to do now is shape these little balls. To shape them, you've got your little ball, um, you're just going to take pinches from the side and pull it in on itself, keep going round, and then you're going to flip it onto its other side, put your palm over it, and move in a circular motion eventually coming into a kind of cage like this. Keep going, you can kind of go around a bit like this as well. And you've got a lovely little ball. I them all out, so I've just put them onto a flower, lightly flower tray, and then I'm gonna cover it in cling film and leave these for about 20 minutes until again, they've about doubled in size. What I'm gonna do now is turn on the oven. You wanna turn it up to the highest setting and put one of your baking trays in to heat up with it. Our fish breads have now been on their second freeze for, I'd say actually about 20 minutes and they're already much bigger. So we're ready to go with the. Now we're going to shape the fish breads. Lightly flour your surface. Roll it. Um, you can roll it into whatever shape you want your pita breads. Uh, our our pita breads um, all ready to go, just so you can see the shape. Take your tray out. One, two um, of your breads. Um, only do two at a time because um, it's just much easier. Than that. So put those in, and then we're going to cook them for three minutes and they'll start to go golden brown. All right, so we're now all ready to plate. So, There it is, you've got your harissa roasted cauliflower, pickled onions, tahini dressing, um, zartar dressing, and a little bit of coriander to finish.